Okay, this is what our finished little experimental MTD collector looks like. You can see I put a cap over the trickle-down chamber on top so water doesn't get in there. And I also put a cap over the gutter. Um, so our pump is on. The sun is out. Uh, well, actually it's in and out. We've got a, a number of clouds today. Right now the sun is shining. But what do you think we can do to improve the collection of heat? Because the, we, we don't want the pump to uh, be working when the sun is behind a cloud. It's not going to collect much heat that way. Uh, so we're taking temperature readings right now. One of the probes is inside the gutter and the other probe is uh, inside this little storage tank. Anyway, we'll take a look at the data a little later. In the meantime, see if you can figure out a way to get a net heat gain. Okay. Thanks again for your time, folks. Here are some temperature data that we collected on July 23rd with the pump connected directly to a 12 volt DC supply. You can see there's some solid, the solid line is the temperature inside the gutter and the dashed line is the temperature inside the storage tank. You can see the, the temperature inside the gutter is, is usually a little bit higher than the temperature inside the storage tank. The temperature is inside the, the storage tank, it starts at about 52 degrees and in about 20 minutes it gets up to about 98 degrees. And that was when the sun was out. Uh, as soon as the sun went behind a cloud and it started getting hazy, the temperature leveled off. And then there were some clouds that moved in that blocked the sun a little more. And then the sun came out, you can see the, temp see the uh, curve go up, up and down, in and out. So it's a partially sunny day and that's the kind of curve that we could expect to see with the pump connected directly to a DC supply. July 24th, 2015 and you can see the sun is behind that cloud right up there. So our MTD collector is not going to be getting much sun. So you wouldn't expect the, uh, the pump to be going because it's being powered with a photovoltaic panel. This is just a little, the, you see the few drips that are coming out, that's what's remaining inside the collector. Anyway, um, so this is one way of controlling the speed of the pump is using a photovoltaic panel connected directly to the pump. However, the temperature inside the collector is not always directly proportional to the amount of sunlight that hits the PV panel. Right now, this, this does seem to be working. And we'll take a look at the temperature readings uh, in just a minute for, for this day of July 24th. Right now, it's about uh, 140 p.m. On July 24th, we made an attempt to get more of a net heat gain by connecting our pump directly to a photovoltaic panel. We figure that the amount of sun is proportional to the amount of heat that's available for collection. And it, it's pretty close. And you can see by this curve uh, the solid line is the temperature inside the gutter and the dashed line is the temperature inside the storage tank. So you can see they, they follow pretty closely. Uh, but when the sun goes down the temperature inside the storage tank doesn't drop too much. Uh, that's because the pump doesn't continue to, to, to work when there's no sun. That's, what, that's when we lose heat. So basically we're getting more of a net heat gain by connecting our pump 
directly to a photovoltaic panel. If we don't have a photovoltaic panel, we could use a differential controller. And even with a photovoltaic panel, we could use a differential controller to improve our heat collection efficiency. Anyway, here, these are a few ideas I'm throwing out. Continue the struggle to capture the sun's energy. And please visit my website, JC Solar Homes. Thank you for your time. Have a sunny day.